When Wandering Sword was first discussed amongst our staff, we unanimously thought it looked very similar, perhaps a little too much Doctor Path Traveler and Live a Live. But the question we will answer now is, does it manage to stand out or is it just a copycat? The story of Wandering Sword begins by introducing us to Wu Win Yi, who is part of a caravan commonly tasked with escorting people. During one such job, the caravan's happy days abruptly end as they are caught in the crossfire between a bandit skirmish and they all end up suffering from a barrage of poison arrows. He is then taken to the remote village of Wu Tang by Ching Shu, who then asks Jiang Yi Fang to help balance his ki and dispel the poison in his body. If that didn't make much sense to you, you're not alone because even after one hour of gameplay, I didn't understand a dang thing about Wandering Sword's story. Various key points and terminology are never appropriately explained, and some characters have odd cookie cutter designs. Furthermore, there are points where the game will say, months pass, when in reality, the background implies that only a few days have passed. It also doesn't help that the translation feels stiff and robotic. None of the characters made an impact, even though you can recruit them to your party by gifting them items from your inventory. However, given that you only get a vague description of what a character likes, your options of what to gift them are very few early on. And what's worse is that the dialogue doesn't seem to change, with your only guides being the UI prompt that tell you how much friendship that item just gave you, which happens to overlap like a 2004 browser game MMO if too many status or changes happen at once. Being in the industry, a lot of games come our way, and while I can't say that this is the first time I've seen something like this, it seems like Wandering Sword borrowed from our good friend's plagiarism. The animation and style look like they were ripped off from Octopath Traveler. The combat system feels very live a live. Still, none of these compared to the fact that many assets were ripped straight from Genshin Impact, among other titles. I'm unsure if this is because they haven't finished their own assets, but that doesn't excuse the fact for this preview. Furthermore, there's just something off about the UI. This is purely conjecture on my part, but Wandering Sword feels like a game initially designed for a browser or mobile device. Plans must have fallen through, and the developer seems to have repurposed the UI in a desperate attempt to not waste any of the assets, but again, I'm only guessing. The battle system is also woefully unbalanced. To start things off, you can't use items during combat. This makes this title extremely frustrating to play, as the story will often throw you into consecutive battles without giving you a moment of relief. Furthermore, situations where one character does but a tickle of damage and another has this crazy level ability that feels like like your Roxas wielding a stick instead of a keyblade. If you're like me, who likes stories first and foremost and often dislikes copious amounts of grinding, the game will undoubtedly make you want to quit in a fit of rage. Furthermore, there are battles where everyone fights against everyone and it's a mess due to how this is implemented. You have enemies using their specials against other enemies, and you're somehow supposed to emerge victorious from the cacophony of sound effects. I spent 20 minutes staring at my screen in visible confusion. After each battle, characters earn martial points, which are used to upgrade skills. These skills vary depending on the weapon you've equipped, and your proficiency with that weapon also increases. Still, it requires a lot of grinding, and as far as I can tell, there was no way to adjust the difficulty, but there is a way to switch from turn-based to real-time battles, which may mitigate the warlike encounters that I had to endure. Wandering Sword is kind of a broken mess, and while I might be able to overlook some aspects because it's still in development, you'll need a blind spot the size of Saturn to ignore all of them, especially the plagiarism. Nevertheless, I'm intrigued to know what will happen during development and the future of this game's release. Wandering Sword is coming to PC via Steam in 2023. Thanks for watching. Please read the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.